So you want to move to Florida in 2021. You've given it a ton of thought and it makes total sense to move to South Florida. But how do you manage all the steps to establish residency? Stay tuned, you will get a step-by-step -step guide in this video. Hello everyone, so happy to be here with you. This is Meryl Ibrahim, Broker Associate with Coldwell Banker Realty in the beautiful Palm Beaches, Florida. I've lived here for 40 years as a transplant from London and I'm passionate about the Palm Beaches. Come join me to discover everything about communities, lifestyles and some real estate. If you've been here before, thank you and welcome back. If you love the Palm Beaches like I do, click on the subscribe button and hit that bell so you'll be notified every time I make a video. The Sunshine State attracts roughly 950 new residents every day from different parts of the country. Some have been visiting Florida for many years as snowbirds and are finally ready to call Florida home for good, while others have just had enough of snow and long for sunny days at the beach year round. But let's not forget, Florida has some pretty awesome theme parks, a thriving job market and every housing option from suburban living to urban living and rural living. And there's a thriving housing market for retirees known as 55 plus communities with a retiree's lifestyle in mind. Nowadays, creating an unforgettable staycation in Florida is easy with so much to see, so much to do. There is no shortage of outdoor activities year round for residents of all ages. So with some planning, you can easily stay on track during your move to Florida and prevent needless complications. Transitioning to a new area, let alone a new state, typically requires many steps to establish residency, not to mention all the preliminary steps to juggle from securing a job, selling your home, planning the move, getting the kids enrolled in their new schools. So in this video, I am going to share with you all the steps you should take to establish residency in South Florida and I will provide additional resources below for your convenience. Assuming you have connected with a local real estate expert to discover a town that measures up to your family's needs, you should be on your way to successfully becoming a new homeowner. Your realtor will assist you in setting up your new utility companies to ensure a smooth transition into your new home. But there's more. Here is a checklist of what you need to do to establish residency beyond home ownership. One, register to drive in Florida. You must have a valid Florida driver's license. You'll need proof of your social security number and two other documents that show your Florida address. The Florida Department of Motor Vehicles, the DMV, will take your driver's license from your previous state. Florida does not allow you to have two licenses. Two, register your vehicles. Also, registering your vehicles is required. You will need to take your vehicles to the DMV office for verification of the vehicle ID number. And be sure to insure your vehicle in Florida as the DMV will require proof of this also. Three, register to vote. You actually have time to do this as it is not essential to do so immediately unless it's an election year. But by doing so while you're at the DMV, you can accomplish this at the same time. In case you are not provided with a voter registration form while you are there, just ask for one. Four, open a bank account. You can transfer out-of-state bank accounts to a Florida banking institution. You'll need to either visit a branch or go through the bank's online process. Five, file your final income tax returns. When filing your final tax returns in the state where you're required to pay income taxes, provide notice to the taxing officials of your move to Florida. And you should notify the Social Security Administration of your new Florida address. And six, apply for your Florida homestead exemption. 
if you have purchased a home as opposed to renting one, you will receive a real estate tax benefit and asset protection. So the state of Florida allows homeowners to claim up to a $50,000 homestead exemption on their primary residence, among other exemptions that you can learn about on their website. Look for the link below for that. So as you can see, there are some important steps to take to become a legal resident in Florida, and I hope this checklist will provide a roadmap for you. Now, if you are still in the planning stages and have not taken any concrete steps to find out about jobs, schools, and neighborhoods, leave a comment below and I'll be happy to get back to you. If you liked this video, check out these and consider subscribing to this channel if you want to find out more about living in the Palm Beaches, communities, and some real estate. Thank you for joining me and see you next time. Bye.